In this topic, we are going to discuss a strategic view of international human resource management. This is a framework developed by Deseri and Dowling in which they have identified two types of factors, external factors and organizational factors, which affect the human resource function and the human resource function then affects the multinational enterprise performance. You can also see in this model that external factors are also affecting the organizational factors. So they do not stand separate from each other. The organizational factors are being affected by the external factors, which are then affecting the human resource function, which is in uh, turn affecting the multinational performance. Now we are going to talk about each of this set of variables individually. First of all, you have seen that the factors which are affecting international human resource are the external factors. What are those external factors? Number one is the PESTEL analysis. As students of management, you must have heard about the PEST analysis and the PESTEL analysis, which is the analysis of the political, economic, social, technological, and legal and environmental or ecological factors of your environment. So you need to see what type of uh, social, political, economic factors are affecting your environment. Then the other uh, external factor which affects your human resource policies is the organizational links with other multinationals in and with the national governments. If you have a useful network of uh, organizations of other multinationals working with you and if you have good networking with the host uh, country governments, you will be more successful and you will have better HR policies in your organization. Then the third one is asymmetric events and finally the environmental dynamics. We are going to discuss asymmetric events. What are asymmetric events? Aap logo ne 9-11 ke waakhe ke baare mein bhi suna hooga. Uske ilawa jitne terrorism ke waakyaat hoote hain. Uske ilawa jitne environmental hazards hoote hain. For example, tsunami aagya ya kahin pe earthquake aagya. All these events are called asymmetric events. Asymmetry which means that does not have any symmetry. Aap unko pehle se forecast nahi kar sakte. Aap unko pehle se unke baare mein plan nahi kar sakte. Aap ko unki shiddat ka, unki intensity ka ehsaas nahi ho sakta. Aap ko uske baare mein pata nahi chal sakta. So they are asymmetric. They don't have any asymmetry. So external environment mein kitni asymmetry hai. Particularly aaj kal jo sab se zyada factor uh, highlight kiya ja raha hai, that is the factor of terrorism and uh, terrorism can uh, have a significant effect on how your organization operates in the international context. Aap kin countries mein ja sakte hai, aap ne agar aisi countries mein ja ke kaam karna hai, jahaan pe asymmetric events ki possibility zyada hai, to aap वहां पे किस तरह से अपने ऑपरेशंस को सिक्योर करेंगे अपने एम्प्लॉइज को सिक्योर करेंगे और आप किस तरह से इस एसिमेट्री में से निकल सकते हैं एसिमेट्रिक इवेंट्स आर दे टेंड टू बी अनमैच्ड इन आवर कैपेबिलिटीज एंड प्लान्स वी डोंट हैव एनी मैचिंग ऑफ दीस एसिमेट्रिक इवेंट्स विद आवर कैपेबिलिटीज और वी हैव नो प्लान्स फॉर दैट वी डोंट हैव एनी प्लान फॉर द एपीएस इवेंट we didn't have any plan for the 
uh, for for the earthquake that had that hit our nor- northern con- um, northern areas so we can't plan for them then they are highly leveraged against our particular assets uh, obviously these asymmetric events affect our assets they affect our human assets they affect our physical assets they affect our financial assets and they are designed to secure leverage against our assets so that we feel insecure about our assets and they work around offset and negate what in other contexts are our strengths so uh, they are uh, they make us insecure they make us weak they uh, create weaknesses in our capabilities which otherwise are can be considered our strength and they are difficult to respond to in a discriminate and proportionate manner aap unko kisi proportion mein aap unke liye respond nahi kar sakte aapko disproportionately hi unke liye respond karke to aapko uske jo hai wo usko manage karna hai for example after the aps event uh, you, you you can see ke mulk ke sare school jo hain unke upar security arrangements jo hain they are in a disproportionate event you see those barbed wires and you see high walls and you see security guards in some schools they are all uh, they are um, monitoring from the roof so this is a dis- disproportionate management of uh, this type of asymmetric event then when we talk about the organizational factor the type of organizational factors they affect how our hr policies are going to be managed uh, so in those organizational factors number one is the mne balance of global integration and local responsiveness now this is something which is most important for an mne to carry out global inter- integration that the multinational is globally integrated they have coherence they are well connected but they are also locally responsive you must have heard of the uh, the sentence uh, be global but act local so this is something which is uh, required for the mnes to do so if there is balance of these two things sometimes the mnes they are more uh focused on global integration and not focused on local responsiveness if there is not balance between these two then your organization is going to suffer then secondly is uh mne structure what type of organizational structure is there then size and maturity uh how mature the multinational is if a multinational is uh Uh, is new in a in a context it will have different effects on its a, on its hr policies but if a multinational is established for a long period of time then it will have more uh, you know strength in that particular environment then what type of strategy is being undertaken by that multinational uh, corporate governance is also very important in uh, multinational working uh, you know ethical issues uh, governance issues are being taken up in this in these times uh, and they are given uh, a lot of importance and that needs to be dealt with and then uh, headquarters international orientation is very much important in defining your human resource policies and uh, processes and then how much you are successful in doing that if your headquarter has got international orientation if they are well oriented towards international operations they will be more successful in carrying out international operations if they do not have that orientation then it is going to be difficult and then finally your multinational culture how much diversity does it include how much accepting they are how much tolerant they are towards different various cultures that is going to affect the performance of your multinational and all these internal and external factors they will affect your human resource function 
in terms of how well you are able to manage uh, your global corporate hr role how well you are manage you are able to manage your hr practices and how well you are able to manage crisis management and coordination and all this will have an effect on the performance of your company in three ways in financial terms in social terms and finally in enterprise resilience